In this video, I'm going to show you a cover three and cover four bomb out of Trips Tied In. And this bomb is really good, specifically for cover four. Um, as a Trips Tied In player, I get a lot of cover four, to be honest. Um, Trips Tied In is what I run. This is going to help you beat cover four over the top. We're in the Detroit playbook. You can find this play in Detroit and New England. I have ebooks on both of those playbooks in my Patreon. If you want to become a Patreon member, it's only 10 bucks gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And so, uh, again, I think that's a great deal for you guys. Ten bucks. we got 18 different offensive and defensive ebooks, including the trips tied in. And we're dropping a brand new ebook later this week. So make sure you're in the Patreon so you get access to all of that material. Now, the play we're going to be going over today is curl flat. We're going to show you how this play can absolutely destroy uh, cover four over the top. So uh, you don't actually need high round master for any of these setups. So just so you're aware, um, I do have it, but don't you don't need it. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to streak our tight end, and then we are going to put our backside trips receiver, our outside trips receiver, on an in route. This is just so we have a check down. We're going to block our running back, and then we're going to motion this guy across the formation. And when he goes in motion, we want to put him on a comeback. So you see here, this is what the play art is going to look like. And um, if you wanted to put your running back on a block and release so you could have a high low on the right, you can do that. But this right here is the formula for absolutely nuking any kind of cover four. You'll see right here that outside quarter is going to get sucked down. And then you have this over the top for an absolute bomb against the cover four let me show you that play again and then we'll get into some variations uh that you kind of need to be aware of as far as like how this can fare against any coverage that you face you can put the running back on an out route you can put him on a block and release um and you're still going to get this basic idea where if they're not careful they're going to think that outside quarter is going to play that it's not and you're going to see we're going to get over the top of the cover four now um, I wanted to show this to you also against cover three and cover two. Cover two, this is going to be a really good setup for cover two, uh, which we'll come back to in just a second. Uh, but what you're going to see here against cover three, I think cover three is actually equipped the best uh, to handle some of the concepts here. It just depends on how well that outside third is going to do. You see there he does uh, go. You're still going to have the post, but it's just going to be open a little bit differently. Uh, which I will show you here again. So again, cover three, you do need a little bit of time for this to, to uh, develop. So keep that in mind as well. You know, if they're blitzing you, that's why I would like to say like, put your running back out there for a pressure release or block your running back. In practice mode, the sheds are a little better than they are in the game right now. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind as well. But against cover three, a lot of times the outside third will go to the tight end and then you're gonna have the post coming underneath just like that. So you're able to get into a pretty good spot against cover three as well. Now, uh, curl flat, I really like this play specifically uh, for what it can do to cover four, but also uh, for what it could do to, if our opponent ever wants to run some kind of double Mabel defense, this is a really good setup for double Mabel because what you have is this post route will clear every zone drop in the game. And then you have the backside in route where they're going to have to basically use her um, because everything is fanning to the outside. So you see here, if we just wait on this, you're going to see just a simple high ball up and out. And it's going to be into a really nice pocket on the sideline. So if you look at where I'm at on the 20, I got to the opposite 40. It's going to get over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat. So we're able to literally annihilate every zone in the game. And then let's say that they run man-to-man. -man. So if they want to run man-to-man, -man, you're going to have three routes on this play um, that are going to be pretty effective. This comeback route is actually really underrated. A lot of times he'll get that little beat press animation just like that where you can just throw it out there quick. That's always something you want to look for, uh, in my opinion, when running this play because... It's what I call gimme yards. Uh, it's just real simple to get these yards here. Um, you can snap this while he's in motion and kind of highball out there if you want to. He'll take that little step. You can kind of highball it against zone um, as well if you want to mess around with that a little bit. But really, the best thing against man is still going to be this post route. This post route is really consistent. Um, you might want to smart route this route to make it just a little bit shallower. 
Um, but you see there, my post route's wide open, even though I'm getting Nano Blitz by Nickel 3-3, three, three, um, even though they patched this formation, supposedly. <laughs> uh, more to come on that later on the channel. This has actually become one of the better blitzing formations yet again for the season. So, anyways, what you're going to notice here is that this post will just cook man. Um, we'll just cook man, and it's going to be open for a pretty big gain. So they have to use her the post. And then when they when they go to use the post, as you can probably tell, it's going to leave this void over the middle of the field. And oftentimes you're going to get a coverage that kind of looks like this, um, especially if they're in man to man. You know, maybe they're dropping a purple over here to stop the tight end corners. And so the whole middle of the field is going to be really vulnerable. And if you can simply just take your, you know, again, force them to have to use the post. And then now I can throw this little in route as kind of a check down. Thanks to uh, Mike Evans for stopping the route, but it's wide open in the middle. Um, this isn't necessarily like a go-to play against man-to-man, -man, but it, it can get the job done well uh, for man-to-man. -man. And again, this is obviously a drop eight coverage. A lot of times if you play man coverage, they're gonna be trying to blitz you out of that. Um, if you put the running back on a block and release, it will help a little bit against man because he'll float and kind of pull zones, and then it leaves you that check down right there. So that's a very simple check down if they want to go use of the post route. Um, this play is incredibly effective for cover four, though. It is the best cover four beater, at least one of the best cover four beaters, because it doesn't appear like it would beat cover four. They're going to basically pass this guy off to let that quarter go play it and he just won't and as you can see it's just an absolute laser against cover four beats every zone it's one of the best zone beaters of the game if you want to learn more about trips tied in make sure you get in the patreon that's where we have all my ebooks that teach the ins and outs of trips tied in as well as other offensive and defensive ebooks in there we've got 18 different offensive and defensive ebooks and we're dropping a brand new ebook this week so make sure you're in the patreon that way you get access to all the updates all the new ebooks and all the old ebooks Thanks for watching. 10 bucks gets you everything. Head down to the description below and go sign up for the Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon.